people are just trying to figure it out. Uh, they're trying to navigate life and um, they've had a lot of different experiences and um, some come with they're in a crisis. Um, some come just because they're hurting and they get to a place and they just don't know their next step. The purpose of Gaston House, real simply, is for guys to get sober and become the men that God desired them to be. The population that we deal with, and I'm, I was one of them for many years, it's more likely for us to be dead than it is alive. And, but for the grace of God, I don't, I mean, there's no other reason why we're here. My name is Wendy Miller, and I'm one of the founding partners of Sparrow House Counseling. I'm Robert Rowling, and I own Gaston House with Chico West. We're set up um, really for guys who come out of treatment, and they're guys who, their primary issue is drug and alcohol addiction. We're designed to give them the tools so they never have to come back here again. When we founded Sparrow House, we wanted to be a, really a resource to the community. So we have people that specialize in all different areas in hopes that you know a family or a couple or um, could get their needs met here. In a day, I may see you know eight or nine clients, and Every single one of their stories is so different, and I love that. I think God's given me an ability to sit with people in their pain that some people just don't want to do. Um, and for me, it's, I wouldn't want to do anything else. My dad always laughed at me. He goes, you know, all I do is I just, I just build buildings for a living. Um, you get to build into lives. And I think for, for us collectively as staff, there's nothing better than that. The guys who make it are the guys who realize early on I can't make decisions for my life. I can't trust myself any longer. Um, and so they, they build a community around them and are asking for help. What DTS did was it helped give me a language to really help other, other folks that are in the same industry, help our staff. I think I've come to appreciate it more years removed than I was immediately out of it. Oftentimes when I look back at my time at DTS, I can remember Dr. Kreider <laughs> just stirring things up. I mean, he, he would love to stir things up to try to get us to think, um, but it created such a tension. You know, oftentimes people are coming into to counseling and they don't know how to navigate just sitting in the tension of life. And um, I can remember just sitting in so many of those classes with that same, that sense of just like, but wait, we can't just leave it here. Um, and he would just smile and he would. He would just leave it there. Guys who graduate from the house, our desire is for them to, to realize that, hey, we have a new director, um, that we're no longer running the show. And, and so long as we're not calling the shots and we're living in community and living in truth, that we're going to be all right. I want people um, to be at peace with their story, you know, and peace with themselves and who God's created them to be. People want to change their circumstances, but when we focus on who God's created us and find the joy in just being the person He's created us to be, that's what I love to see.